Hey, YouTube guys and gals, let's go for a drive in this awesome 1990 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Man, this thing is epic. It's beautiful. It's the Grand Wagoneer. This is uh, one of the most famous vehicles. Uh, when you think of like 80s Americana, the Grand Wagoneer is the SUV of that time. 1990 was the second to last year. They made it. Uh, two best years were 90 and 91. Um, all the Jeep enthusiasts will tell you, and uh, this one is awesome. So let's go take it for a ride. So this will double as a cold start. I have not driven it in a while, so it's cold and uh, the tires are gonna have to warm up. So uh, bear with me, but I wanted to give you a real driving experience. So anybody who knows Grand Wagoneers know uh, it's obviously a carbureted engine and they are known to be hard to start when cold. I do keep this one inside, obviously. Um, so what I always do, it is a new carburetor uh, or a rebuilt uh, carburetor. Um, so, you know, I like to give it like the two pumps. As you can tell, it's cold or see it in the blue. Okay, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, it's it's May here, so it's not really cold outside, so it, it's definitely helped, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, do that in January, even if it's been sitting inside. It it doesn't struggle, it just takes a little longer than that. That one, it really did you know, pop easier. Um, also, probably because I moved it out of its parking spot from there to here, but even then, it really didn't struggle at all. Um, but again, it's warm outside, and a new carburetor helps, but yeah. So uh, here you go, it's a 1990, it's only got 133,000 original miles on it. Um, highly original, one repaint in 2010. Um, yeah, and let me just show you. Windows, all new window motors. Oops, there we go, that one, bam. And last but not least. Good. So you don't have to worry about those pesky window, window motors. I am OCD. I wanted everything working, including the tailgate was going up way too slow when I got it. Bam. Look at that. I loves it. One more time. <laughs> All right. There you go. Um, I'm trying to think. The only thing that doesn't work is this, this guy. But... Everyone says that those broke like the third day, um, <laughs> even when these were new, so not worried about it. Radio works. Original radio with original speakers. I live out in the boonies. I don't have great service here, so um, you'll hear the radio come in and out just because of, you know, where I'm in. But, um, yep. Door locks work, so uh, yeah, let me raise these windows up and let's go have a nice drive. Boom. If you're in the way, get out the way. So off the bat, the driving experience in a Grand Wagoneer is everything you would expect it to be. It is super rich feeling. It feels very plush, just the right amount of bounce. Now again, bear with me, I promise you this is a cold drive. I have not driven this Jeep probably almost a month, I'd say four weeks. And uh, so the tires are gonna have to warm up. Um, it does have newer Michelins on there and we did have them striped uh, to look exactly like it did when it came off the uh, factory floor um but yeah it's the driving experience hold on let me show you also turn signals left right high beams you can't probably see that light but they come on they go off let's go left here back to the driving experience so yes quiet sophisticated 
it makes you feel like um, you're in that show Dallas from the 80s, just very like, I'm wealthy, I'm important, this is the kind of car I should be driving feeling, um, but throw in a retro vibe with it. That's that's what you just feel like when you're driving around in this. And that's what you want to feel like. I mean, I think that's a great, a great feeling to have. Um, so yeah, no, these are very quiet for a box from, you know, for something that's not very aerodynamic. Uh, the, I, I'm used to Blazers and Broncos and Suburbans, so this thing is like so quiet in comparison to those. And uh, the finishes, I can't say enough about the finishes. The leather is so rich. Uh, with the corduroy um, in the middle inserts. I mean, it doesn't get classier than that. And, you know, just the color of it, the wood grain, that just matches well. The steering wheel is really nice and thick, which I love. Uh, leather wrapped, of course. The V8, tried and true in these, great engine. You know, low maintenance, easy to work on. Good power, it's not a rocket ship, of course. Uh, nobody would expect it to be, but yeah, quiet, good power, good torque. You can see the temps are, let me get it closer, slowly coming up on here. I need to go get gas, which th that is what we are going to do, gas trip. We're going downhill, got to use brakes here, but we do have new master cylinder and um, new brake pads, so you're not getting any hissing, whistling, whining, or vibrating. Oh look, my gas light just came on, so there you have it. You can see that the, uh, the fuel reader does read and the light does work, if you were wondering. The clock works as well. even flooring it. I'd say that's half power. So this thing is a lot quicker than people realize. I'm pushing 70 now. Look, you could really drive this thing with one finger. Got to slow down because this Nissan is going slow. But yeah, doesn't vibrate, doesn't shimmy, doesn't shake. I'm OCD as they come, so trust me, there's nothing you need to do to this Grand Wagoneer. Drives beautifully. Shifts amazing. Chrysler really got it right um, with this. I don't know the ins and outs. I know it was originally like, um, you know, AMC Jeep uh, came out with it. But when Chrysler took it over, they did a lot of things to it. And um, exactly what I forget, people have told me, but. Um, yeah, the engine matched with the uh, transmission. Really enjoyable experience. It's civilized. It's it's just enough in all the arenas. Like, enough power, enough torque. Um, feels like an SUV, but it's not like a Bronco or a Blazer. Definitely more tuned uh, in line with driving and comfort. Okay, now we can go a little bit. Here we go, watch out. Let's roll. Let's get her up to 70 on a two lane. Look at that, 70 miles an hour, two lane curvy country road in North Georgia. Super quiet, let's brake hard. Nose to the floor, we are slowing it way down. Look at that, quiet and now turning radius. 
This is one of the best turning radiuses of any vehicle. I literally just did this a UE in a two lane road. So yeah, shout out to whoever engineered that. I've never had a vehicle four wheel drive that turns like that. Exhaust is perfect. It's the original exhaust and it's not too loud. It like, again, shout out to Jeep. You just did it right. It's enough throatiness without being annoying. Um, but you know, this isn't like a, again, a Bronco or Blazer where you really want a loud exhaust. It's just enough to let you know there's a V8 under the hood. You don't want to annoy your friends at the country club. Just like that, 70 miles an hour again. Super quiet, super chill. I'm having a blast. I have had this vehicle since 2017. It is so much fun. Hands down, one of the best vehicles I've ever owned. Um, there's a reason people go crazy for these and pay what they pay for them because they will never make SUVs like this again. This is part of history, a piece of history. America, uh, Americana at its best um, back when they just really made awesome stuff. And um, the more glamorous, the better. It was really the tail end of that. Uh, this was 1990. People thought, you know, it was dated back then, and it was. It was classic. It was old school, and that's why it's so sought after now. People want that again. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this driving video, and uh, I will see you on the next one.